The Proteus Design Suite is capable of using various third-party compilers to debug and test your designs. This video shows how to use the MPLAB XC16 compiler inside the Proteus application. This example uses the DSPIC33 data recorder, as supplied with Proteus. A firmware project is created or edited from the Edit Source Code command on the context menu of the microcontroller. Where no project exists, the new firmware wizard provides a quick way to get started. Proteus will populate the combo boxes for you using the component details from the schematic. The compiler combo box will list all compilers that Proteus can automatically configure for simulation. If a tool is not configured, click on the Compilers button to display a full list of all the supported tools. From this dialog you can download new compilers or rescan your computer to configure existing tools. The check all button will rescan your system for you. Since we already have firmware written elsewhere for this project, we don't need the Quick Start Files checkbox selected. This option produces a skeleton project and is helpful if you are starting firmware development from scratch. Existing code files can be added from the context menu for the project title. Simply navigate to their location on your system. The opening, editing and closing of files then works in the normal way. Before we start Compile and Debug, we'll finish setting up the VSM Studio view. We can do this using a feature of Proteus known as Active Pop-Ups. This feature allows you to tag areas of interest on your schematic, view and interact with them in VSM Studio when the simulation is running. The big advantage of this is that it removes the necessity to keep switching between schematic view and programming view when debugging. Select Active Pop-Up Mode from the left-hand menu and draw a box around a single area of interest. Right-click on the drawn box, Edit Properties and enter a name for the pop-up. This can be repeated as many times as you like for the simulation. When all your pop-ups have been selected, return to the VSM Viewer and build the project. The output window at the bottom will tell you when the compiler is successful. When the simulation is started, we can see the active pop-ups on the right-hand side of the editor. When the simulation is paused, the code window becomes active. The drop-down box is a file selector for the current project, allowing us to select the file we want and set a breakpoint. 